Hey everybody, so today I'm going to show you guys just how to sleeve a D5 pump. I've done this on stream before, but I kind of just wanted to make a short and concise video as far as that goes for uh, sleeving a D5 pump in this situation here. So the supplies or tools you'll need are pretty simple. Uh, we got new nose pliers here. This helps with your uh, heat shrink and cutting the wire and whatnot. We've also got a wire stripper, um, which you'll definitely need to strip your wires, which leads on to your pins. So for this situation, we need some uh, male Molex pins uh, to you put the pins back on the D5 pump. You could switch it to like SATA if you wanted to, but that requires SATA pins and uh, also a SATA plug. So your pump should already come with Molex plugs, uh, unless it's SATA, of course. So you'll also need some connectors if you want to change out your plug. Otherwise, you can just reuse these which leads on to your Molex depinning tool. You will want one of these. This is really useful for uh, depinning it, which works just like this. You slide it on over the pin, push down, and boom, it depins it. You'll also need some uh, sleeving. So here I have some 1 8 inch uh, allure sleeving. So this is PPC's allure sleeving in black. I also have some white. I'm gonna sleeve the pumps, one of each. Uh, just so they're easier to tell apart once they're in the system and plugged in. Last but not least, you want some heat shrink. I pre-cut this stuff just so it's easier to work with. This is also 1 8 inch heat shrink. Um, that'll go around the ends of the wires. So I'm not sure whether or not you guys prefer to sleeve into your pumps or if you want to see how, but uh, usually I do. Not everybody sleeves all the way down to the pump, but we'll be doing that today. So to do that, you just need like a screwdriver of some sort. And uh, we'll start with this pump here on the left. we get rid of this guy. And all you do is you just put your screwdriver there on the lid and you pop it off. So these are some Aqua Computer Aquabus enabled D5. So this is a little bit more tricky because it has this uh, PCB here with a ribbon cable. So you just got to be careful. Make sure you don't like break that if you are going to be sleeping one of these pumps. Otherwise, um, a regular D5 Avario would only have like a P PWM signal cable coming out of here. Uh, PWM one would obviously have a PWM cable coming out. Um, but this only has the power that we're going to sleeve because everything else plugs into the pump. So you do need to take it out of the little holder there on the top of the lid. So when you do want to sleeve all the way into the pump, you're going to have to take the power cable at least and the PWM cable if that's there as well um, out. Um, so we're going to work on that here while not trying to break anything else in the pump. So this does add some risk, but it's an overall cleaner look. So what you do after you get this cable out, or cables, uh, is you're going to have to drill the hole a little bit bigger in this top. So that is going to have to add another tool to your list. You want an electric drill with a larger bit than this hole is. Okay. So we got them out. As I said, we're going to have to drill this hole out a little bit bigger because the, the obviously the sleeving is going to make the diameter of these wires slightly bigger. So we have to account for that. So I have a 3 8 inch bit here with an electric drill. Um, we're going to just take our time trying to drill through this plastic because the ribbon cable is right next to this hole. So we just have to be really careful. Alrighty, so there you have it. We got uh, quite a bit bigger hole there now, so uh, it should accommodate the wires and the sleeving now. Okay, so as I mentioned, uh, this just has the two power cables, everything else is that PCB, but uh, I am actually going to individually sleeve these, so you do have to separate the wire just like this. It's just kind of like a pull and peel. Alright, so once you do that, um, I'm actually going to go ahead and cut these down just because I do not need a cable nearly this long in this system. So that is another thing you can do while you're sleeving your cables is uh, customize the length of the cables if you need to at all. Um, I would recommend at least trying to measure it out and seeing what you need. So there we go. We got cable right there. Let's take our needle nose pliers with the cutter on it and make the cut. Next, you'll have to strip your wires. So we got our wire stripper here. This is some thicker wire, so we're going to use the 16 gauge. 
And you don't need to strip too much off for your uh, pins. They don't need much to grab at all. So once you do that, I like to uh, slide on some heat shrink um, all the way down to the end where it's going to be in the pump. Uh, just because you will need some heat shrink in there. It's nice to have. It keeps the sleeving all in one place. So what I do before I put it on is I do stretch it out a little bit uh, so it's easier to wrap around the sleeving once it gets down there. So we'll slide this onto the red wire here. Now we can go ahead and grab our crimping tools. So you'll also need one of these if you are, you know, repinning your cables. Uh, you wouldn't necessarily have to get a crimper and repin it if you wanted to keep it the same length and you were just going to use the pins that were already on it because you do end up sliding the sleeving on over it. So we're going to grab one of our Molex male pins right here. What you want to do is you take your pin, you take your crimper, so this is the larger size uh, pin and we just put it in the larger slot and then you crimp down till you hear one, two, and three clicks and you press the little release over here and you grab your little crimped, half crimped pin and uh, now we can go ahead and grab our wire, make sure there's no loose strands and you just slide the wire into the pin and make sure that the little fingers get around your uh, the rubber on the wire the insulation sorry so then you once you have it all put back in the pin what you want to do is you want to put it back into the crimper make sure you have it lined up all the way against the grooves inside there and you're gonna crimp, crimp it all the way down so it should go all the way down and I'll just release there you have it. So that's a nice crimp pin pretty well if the camera would focus. <laughs> but uh, that's not too bad. We can move on from there. We can put a pin on the other cable just like we did on the red one. So now we have our cables the proper length and repinned. We will need now uh, measure out our sleeving and uh, get that cut so we can go ahead and start to sleeve these. So to measure it, all I'm going to do is I'm going to take the sleeving, put it right up to the pin right there, and then I'm going to measure back all the way to inside the pump. So that is right past where it gets all bendy and twisty here. So I will go with this length right here. So use the scissors, pretty simple. So either want to use like a lighter or uh, even a heat gun can work to uh, melt the ends of your sleeving a little bit here just so it doesn't fray while you're working with it. Okay, so now that you've got your sleeving all prepared, cut and ready to go, you're just going to take it and you're going to put it to your, you're going to put it right over the pin here. So I'm going to go this way actually. You're going to start sliding it over and it'll, it'll probably slide on a little ways depending on the thickness of your wire uh, and whatnot. But once you get it to the point where you can't just push on anymore, you want to pinch the sleeving on the wire right about where the, the pin is located. And then you'll take your other finger, your hand on the right here, and you'll start to push and you let go with your finger on the left and it'll slowly slide it over. So it's kind of a painstaking process, but you get it, you kind of just inchworm it on there. And uh, eventually you'll get all the way down. Okay, so We've got it pushed all the way down and we got just past the pin here. It's right about where you want it. You have it up a little bit further, but right in that general vicinity is about how far you want your sleeve to be on. All right, so now that we got our sleeving situated on there, all you're going to do is you're once again going to take a piece of heat shrink. You're going to widen it out a little bit just so it's easier to get on. You're going to go ahead and you're going to slide that on over the end of the sleeve here. 
and you can put it on about that far it doesn't really matter here just make sure that you have it all the way over the sleeve and you're once again going to take either a heat gun or a lighter whatever you want to use you're going to want to make sure that that is nice and melted on there and then to make it uh heat shrinkless you're just going to take like your little pliers here you should just be able to pull it right off and there you have one heat shrinkless pin uh sleeved up to it now that you have that end done you're going to go back to your little pump end here get this heat shrink around your sleeving at the end there make sure it's completely around it and this heat shrink won't be pulled off so it's going to melt it all the way down make sure that it fits up snug and now your uh, sleeving shouldn't move at all once it's in the pump here so one wire done and we're just going to repeat the same process to get the other wire All right, ladies and gentlemen, so now we've got both of the cables sleeved. So what we'll have to do now is put this back through the cover on the bottom of the pump here. Uh, and we did widen this hole a little bit, so that should help us get uh, this, the sleeved cables through. So we'll push one end through and then let's see if we can try to get this other one going. So once you get the wire situated back into the pump, the cover should just pop on once again. The wires may want to try to make it come out, so you just got to be careful and uh, go through and make sure that the wires are in a good position. And there you have it, folks. One sleeved D5, and uh, just have one final step, which is pretty much the easiest step of them all, is to put the pins back in the connector. So you're going to want to make sure that you do the correct pinout as there's a specific pinout for a 12 volt pump like this. So as you can see the right all the way in the, or the red all the way in the furthermost right hole and the black in the center. So both the centers are actually ground so the black can go in either but just for easy management and whatnot we'll put them both on the same side. So all you do is you just slide the pin all the way into the connector and you should hear a little click there. Well, there you have it, folks. We've got uh, two sleeve D5 pumps here now. I uh, got both of them done, and they both turned out pretty pretty good, in my opinion. Um, they look pretty clean. Sleeve them one in white, one in black, and there you have it. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Everything that I use in this stream will be linked below in the description as well, so you can always find that there. And uh, let me know what you thought. Leave a like if you liked it. Subscribe if you want to see more, and I'll see you guys in the next one.